Welcome to CodeJogin. We were able to learn how to create um, or use a button navigation in our Android project. Okay. And then in our previous video, we looked at how to use um, a custom navigation in our Android project. That's where we were able to um, add some features to it which makes it different from the default um, button navigation in our previous video. Okay, so in this video, there's a little thing that I want us to take a look at, which maybe some of the developers might think that, okay, I don't need it. Let me take it out. But how are they going to do it? That's the question. So this is how we are going to fix um, such problem in our Android project specifically talking about the um, button navigation. What we are going to learn in this, this video, it doesn't mean that this code can be applied to uh, button navigation, no. It can be used anywhere you want to use it in your project. As far as you want to prevent um, such animation or those effects showing in your Android project. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. When we click on um, an item here, please look carefully. When you click on it, you, you see that there will be a background indicator here. So let's click on it. And then it, it just disappears once the um, item is selected. So let's do it again. Okay. Now you can see this. Okay. Once you press on it and then you've not released your finger or your hand. Now you realize that there's a background indicator here. In our previous video, that's what we did to remove from the item so that when an item is selected, we don't want to show this. But in this video, before an item is selected, this indicator appears. Okay, so let's remove my finger and then it's gone. So we are going to prevent this indicator from happening. So that's what we are going to do in this video. In case you've not subscribed to this channel, please kindly subscribe and also turn on the notification button and also share the link too, okay, so that we can also grow. We've provided our Telegram um, ch channel link at the description section. Please kindly click on it and also subscribe to our Telegram channel too. Okay, so now what we are going to do is to look at the effect again. So if we if click on it, it still shows. What is the meaning of this effect? This effect is an on-click e effect. That's a ripple. It's more like a, an animation. When a, um, an item is being triggered, I mean, when an item is being clicked, okay? So it's part of um, click events because when you check our button navigation here, you can see that when we click, when you go to, um, yeah, when you go to our button bar item here, we can find, yeah, on click. Okay, so with this, how are we going to remove it? Because this one would give us the chance to add another property to it because it has only uh, one property, that's the callback function in it. Okay, so how are we going to achieve that? So this is how we are going to do it. We are going to create our custom removable repo. Okay, so that's what we are going to do. We are going to create our own custom um, non-ripple theme so that it will, it will override any ripple theme we will wrap it with, okay? So for example, once we, we are done creating our own theme and then we want to wrap it with this button navigation, it means that any ripple effect in this um, component will never work. We are going to disable it so that's why i said that it's not only for the navigation bar you can use it for any other component that you wish to remove the ripple effect okay so let's write the code before we do that let's write let's make it a private because when we are done the id will prompt us that we should make it private so private then we can make it non ripple Theme, that's the name it can be any any name then we will just inherit from the ripple theme here 
okay so it will ask us to implement the apps the interfaces so we have the default value here and then we have the repo alpha okay so with this one the default color here we are going to set it to unspecified so color dot unspecified so we are not going to assign any color to it okay more like it's like um transparent okay so but we can still override it okay then this this is where we are going to apply our repo effect okay so now we are going to use the repo alpha and then we are going to disable it so we are going to set it has only four parameters so let's put a cursor on it and then it gives us this so we are going to set everything to 0, 0.0 float so this one will allow us to disable the repo effect in our android project okay so now let's start with this so we don't need to call their names it will just automatically pop up so zero float okay then comma then we have zero dot zero float so let's do the same thing we are doing it four times yes okay so now we are done with our no repo theme here so what are we going to do next next let's go to where we want to apply our repo theme so before we can apply it we have to call the composite we have to call the composition local provider okay so with this one will help us to apply the repo effect to the components we wrap it with okay so what we are going to do is we just call the composition local provider okay so it gives us a callback function here so we have to move this navigation this one this is the entire code cool. so let's collapse it here and then let's move it inside let's make our code a little thing so let's delete this one and then this is where we are going to call our non repo theme so before we can call it we have to call the because we are using a repo so we have to call the local repo okay so the local repo theme then we use provides then we call our repo theme the non repo theme so let's click on yes so we call this one okay so now let's run our code again and see if we will still get this repo okay so let's run our code okay so let's click and then see okay so now our repo is gone so let, let me long press on this one okay nothing shows yes so we've successfully removed or disabled our repo effect as i said it's not compulsory for always to remove the repo effect some some developers um like it and some doesn't so in case you don't want to use the repo effect in your android project this is how you can remove it okay so in case you have any questions you can leave it at the comment section and you also respond to it and if you have any suggestion you can use our channel email address to reach out to us and also subscribe to this channel and our telegram channels too see you in our next video as i said in our previous video that we'll be looking at the navigation this one was something i i felt like I have to discuss with you that's the reason why i made this short video so in our next video we are going to look at the um navigation controller in compose ui so see you in our next video bye bye